Welcome to the service of Leaning This Lent. At this time, you're going to need a Bible, a washing up bowl half filled with water and an apple or something else that will float. I'm going to be reading from Matthew verses, uh, chapter 14, verses 22 to 36. During this season of lockdown, many of us have got unanswered questions and trust is about not having all our questions answered. And we can choose to trust Jesus with this and ask him to help us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that your everlasting arms are beneath us. Help us to trust in you and walk on water through the trials of our lives as we fix our eyes on you, Lord Jesus. Help give us the strength to overcome all the difficulties and lean on you, lean on your presence. Help us to fix our eyes on you, Lord, that your grace is sufficient and your power is made perfect in our weakness. In Jesus' name, Amen. Matthew 14, verses 22 to 36. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on the mountainside by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But the boat was already a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. When they had crossed over, they landed at Gennesaret. And when the men of that place recognised Jesus, they sent word to, the, to all the surrounding country. People brought all their sick to him and begged him to let the sick just touch the edge of his cloak. And all who touched him were healed. This is the word of the Lord.
We're going to take some time now to pray with the help of our floating objects in some water. Firstly, just take a quiet moment to notice how your object stays afloat. Maybe bobbling along a little bit as the water moves. Stepping out of the boat must have been so terrifying for Peter. The water was a dangerous place to be in those days. But Jesus did so much more than simply keeping Peter's head above the water. Jesus saw him safely to shore. Maybe take a moment to ask yourself, where are the places in your life where you feel like you're just trying to keep your head above water? And the idea of being led safely to shore is beyond belief. If God really is God, then he's big enough to lead you there. So perhaps take a moment, if you feel you can, to quietly say in your heart, Jesus, I trust you with this. I trust you with this. I trust you with this. And trust can feel like an all in, stepping out of the boat and putting your weight on the water moment. But it also can be an incremental thing. So I just want to encourage you every day with whatever it is you had in your mind to pray those simple words again and again and to recommit to handing our scary stuff over to Jesus every day and to say, I trust you with this. I trust you with this. I trust you with this. And let's even now continue to make that our prayer as we sing our final song.